He has managed projects across the globe, including onshore and offshore exploration, development, production, and significant new ventures and transactions. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Alex Parks from Providence Energy to the stage. So yeah, my name's Alex Parks, I'm Managing Director of Prominence Energy, and the picture there are the two rigs uh, of our active projects. Uh, the usual disclaimer. So Prominence Energy seeks to provide PRM shareholders with exposure to high value energy projects that will provide substantial capital growth and the PRM share price in the event of success. Basically, we're chasing 10 baggers, and that's what this is. The multi-TCF Sassanoff exploration prospect um, is uh, I get it on the Northwest Shelf. We added it to the portfolio in December. Uh, we were fully funded via a capital raise uh, that was executed in the first quarter of this year, where we raised 12 million that was heavily oversubscribed. Uh, the, our share of the well cost is about seven to eight and a half million, so we're fully funded. And the drillings uh, we announced this morning that equipment has started mobilising up to Dampier to go on the rig and the rig will be mobilizing on the 16th of May, and we'll have our drilling result known by about mid-June. Early June, if everything goes according to plan. Um, IHS uh, rates Sassanoff as one of the world's 20 most high-impact wells to be drilled this year, and that's because it's gonna be huge, and it's gonna extend the Northwest Shelf LNG projects. We have a second project, which I won't really talk about tonight, which is the Bowsprit oil project. We drilled a well there last year. It was an appraisal well. It didn't, uh, the oil had migrated. Um, <laughs> but we can sidetrack that well and put it on production. Uh, it should start production about 1,500 barrels a day, maybe 2,000 barrels a day. And our payback again would be similarly in the order of weeks uh, on that sort of freight. So our capital structure, pretty simple, 2.4 billion shares on issue. Uh, we've got listed options, PRMOB. 900 million of those, a few direct to performance rights, and our market cap uh, uh, share price of just over one cent is around $30 million. Uh, there's me and the board, uh, we're all seasoned professionals. Uh, I've been battered by the small oil side, side of the small, co small company side of the sector for a very long time. Uh, Troy's uh, formerly Woodside and uh, uh, also the CEO of TAP, and Ian is a, a, very, a, a very experienced corporate director as well. So on to the main event, Sassanoff. Uh, it's an amplitude-supported multi-TCF exploration prospect located in the northwest shelf in about a thousand meters of water, 200 kilometers northwest of Onslow. Um, it's big, it's up to 400 square kilometers in area, and it's in a great address. It's surrounded by giant gas fields, uh, it sits up dip from a mentor, the Mentor field, which was drilled and appraised by Hess as part of their 17 well program where they had 15 successful outcomes. Very similar amplitude anomaly, very similar prospect, same formation, we're looking like it's gonna be pretty good. And what's interesting, Mentor with two wells in it was proven to be full to spill. So the gas came out of the basin, up dip, filled Mentor, and then has carried on further up dip and we hope has filled Sassanoff full of uh, gas. The Sassanoff well is pretty straightforward. It's uh, for a deep water well, it's uh, gonna be quite cheap at 20 to $25 million. It's gonna be a vertical well with a single casing string and will be drilled to a total depth of about 2,500 meters beneath sea level. A thousand meters of that is water, a thousand meters of overburden rock, which is all going to be hopefully pretty boring and easy to drill. Uh, we're going to set casing at a thousand meters below the seabed and then we're drilling the 500 interesting 500 meters of interesting stuff through the reservoir Regardless of the well result we the intention is to fully plug and abandon the well And if it's got gas in it, we'll run sampling and get uh, All the pressures etc that we need to get it properly certified So as I mentioned earlier the rig is uh, due to commence mobilization from the port of Dampier on the 16th of May, it'll get out there and we can know the result by early to mid-June. If it's there, it's pretty big. You know, it's great. We're chasing up to 17.8 TCF of gas and 450 million barrels of condensate and the independent order to ERCE gives us a 32% chance of success. 
in the event it is a discovery, it can be monetized. This is not going to be stranded gas that's there, sitting there for decades like some of the earlier discoveries. The get, what we're drilling is an amplitude anomaly. And if the amplitude anomaly is related to movable gas, then it's going to be pretty big. We can see it's aerially extensive amplitude anomaly, and that implies that the resource will be at the larger end of, end of the range. The high condensate ratio in Mentork makes, uh, that's going to apply the same gas in Sassanoff means that it's dramatically uh, better economics than a pure dry gas field, and there's uh, potential to uh, early production of liquid stripping, etc. And the other thing about this is it is exceptionally high quality reservoir. The wells here, uh, it's two Darcy's of permeability. These things will flow incredibly uh, if they, if, when, when drilled for development. The uh, Northwest Shelf LNG plant is uh, desperately looking for gas. Woodside has publicly stated that they're out there looking for gas. And with a higher condensate ratio, our gas should be compatible to extend that, uh, that Northwest Shelf uh, uh, LNG facilities. But that said, there's other places it could go. Uh, there's potential to put it into Pluto, etc. So that's why Sassanoff is designated by IHS as one of the world's worldwide most high impact wells of 2022. Uh, very briefly, why are we in Louisiana? Uh, it's a historical thing. We drilled a well there uh, last year, and as I said, maybe at the end of the year we'll come back and put in a, a production well and tie it back. Our operating costs are a couple of dollars a barrel. Uh, and it would produce enough cash flow to fund us in drilling another high impact well. So news flow coming up, we, uh, we announced the transaction in December, we had our EGM and approved it, we've completed the transaction with Western Gas and our partners who are here tonight, Global. Uh, the rig is commencing mobilization on the 16th of May. It's gonna take us about seven days to get it out there and lay the anchors, and we've got seven to 10 days of drilling and setting the casing above the target reservoir, and then the exciting bit in early June where we drill through the reservoir and we find out if it's all been worth it. Uh, we're constantly looking for new opportunities and we, we may add things. Uh, we contingent plans to drill uh, bow sprit later this year. The picture there is of the Sassanoff horse, the Melbourne Cup winner of 1916. For those investors who were shrewd enough to back uh, Sassanoff in that race, it paid out at 12 to 1, and for those of you who are shrewd enough to invest in PRM, hopefully you will get a similar sort of return. Thank you very much.